Okay, now we're doing this question 93. A 3 cm tall object is placed 20 cm in front of a converging lens. By the way, converging means where the light is all coming into one point. And what type of lens does that? The converging point is only from a convex lens. Okay? A concave lens would make the light spread out or diverge. Okay. Okay, back to the question. A real image is formed 10 centimeters from the lens. What is the focal length? Well, there's a lot of information. So the first step we need to get this information down and also the question. Then we can decide what to do. Okay. So the first bit of information, we've got three centimeters, we've got 20 centimeters, we've got 10 centimeters. Let's put all those numbers into our notebook. Three centimeters. Focus on that. The other one was 20 centimeters and the other one was 10 centimeters. So let's see what all of these numbers mean. Three centimeter tall object. The key word here is tall. Tall meaning height. So I know it's the height and it's an object. So the height of the object, H O. How did I know height? The key word was tall. The next one, 20 centimeters, is place in front. So usually they would say from, but in front or placed is our key words here. And that means it's a position, X, and it's talking about the object. So this one is position X of the object. The key word here was placed or even in front. Okay. And 10 centimeters, a real image is formed. 10 centimeters from, 10 centimeters from. Here the keyword is from, position, you know it's X. We know it's an image. So here we're going to put X, I. The keyword there, X for position, I for image. How do we know position? The keyword was from. Okay. The question says, what is the focal length? So the symbol for focal length is F. Question mark. Okay, again, they've given us too much information. We don't need height because the formula we're going to use is 1 over f equals 1 over x i plus 1 over x o. Therefore, we don't need height in this one. We put in the numbers x i is 10, x o is 20, f will find it by doing the calculation 1 over f equals 1 over 10 plus 1 over 20. That will give you about 3 over 20, if I'm not mistaken. That gives you 1 over f is 3 over 20. So to find f, what do we have to do? 1 over f is 3 over 20. So if we flip it, we find f is equal to, flip that upside down, 20 over 3. Okay.